Hi everybody, my name is Caitlin and I am here today with Acting In with Act Out. Um, today I'm going to be making um, a really easy craft that um, is perfect for right now because we've got some beautiful weather, great sun, um, and we've got some flowers starting to come out. But if you don't want to pick all the flowers out of your garden, um, here's an opportunity for you to learn how to make some. This is also a craft um, that we've done with a couple of shows that we've done. Um, so one of the things that we like to do at ACT OUT is get the teens and the younger kiddos involved with actually making some of the props and set pieces for their shows that they do. So two of the shows we had um, involved kind of a jungle, um, a forest type motif and we had them make some tissue paper flowers. So like I said, this is a pretty easy craft to do and um, it allows you to get as creative as you want to and really kind of have some fun with making something for spring. So um, I'm gonna do this twice for you and hopefully by the end of it, we've got some flowers. So the first thing you're going to want to do is find some tissue paper. You probably have some laying around the house from either birthdays or Christmas or anything like that. Um, the good thing is it doesn't matter what color you use at all. Um, the good thing about flowers is they come in all shapes and all sizes. Um, so really there's, there's really no way you can make a mistake with this. So I got a sheet of tissue paper and I decided I would use this kind of bluish purple. And what you want to do is you want to fold it and cut it into smaller sheets. So when you get tissue paper, you know, it kind of comes in this really, really, really big sheet, right? What we want to do is take that down and cut it into anywhere from five to nine pieces um, of tissue paper that are the same size. So I tend to use somewhere around five or seven for most of mine. Um, so I started cutting these earlier, so I wouldn't be cutting forever here. All right. So I just have a little bit more to cut. Okay, and we've got this great color. Doesn't matter if they're perfectly rectangular or not. Um, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, oops, six, seven, and eight. So if you want to use all eight, you certainly can. Um, I'm actually going to see how these come together. Maybe I'll use eight instead of taking it down um, to seven, but I need to just have one piece left. So I may just go ahead and make this one a little bit extra big. All right, so once you have this done, um, you're going to take your tissue paper and you're going to line it up in the corners as close as you possibly can. Okay, just like this, so that you have a nice, neat pile. Now I actually know that you can buy tissue paper that's kind of cut in these little pieces, um, but I don't know that we need to go to um, that level of extravagance here. Okay, so um, here are my pieces of tissue paper, and they are all together. Um, now what you need to decide is how big do you want your flower to be? Um, what we're going to be doing is making a fan and folding it like an accordion pleat. So we're going to fold in and then fold back. Okay, um, I'm going to make a larger flower, but if you wanted to, you could turn it this way and start folding this way. Um, but here is what I am going to do. So we're going to fold once over. And we're always going to make sure we crease it. And I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to fold it again. I'm going to do another one, and I'm going to continue doing this until I get all the way over to the other edge. Now, again, remember, it does not need to be perfect. It is okay if things didn't line up exactly. And we're just going to get all the way to the end, and you can see that I have um, some few extras that are kind of hanging out. That's totally fine. Right, so we're gonna smooth it out really nicely, and you should have something that kind of looks like this. Okay, 
Okay, so this is that accordion flute we were talking about. All right, now I'm going to make sure I don't let them fall apart because if these come apart from the fan, it is really difficult to get them back together. Okay, so I'm going to do this. Now what I am going to do is just straighten my ends out a little bit so it's a little easier to work with. So I'm going to take a little off either side. Okay. And then I'm going to fold it in the middle, just like this. Okay, so we kind of have this little fan thing going on here. All right. Now, the next thing I'm going to get, hold on for one second, is a pipe cleaner. Okay, so I actually had some pipe cleaners at the theater that I grabbed the other day. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to take your pipe cleaner and you are going to put it right in the middle and kind of wrap it around so you have a center there. So it looks almost like a bow tie. Okay, now again, if it slips out from the center a little bit, it's totally fine. All right, um, but we're going to do that. And then we have a little bow tie there. Now, if you don't have a pipe cleaner, it's totally fine. You can actually use a piece of tape and wrap it around. You can use a piece of string or yarn or floss, um, or even a staple. Um, the staples actually work pretty well. Um, we use those a few times at the theater um, when we um, were doing just flowers without stems, and it actually worked really well. Um, so now I have this, um, which doesn't look too much like a flower, but we still have some steps to do. Now, from here, you can start pulling your petals if you want, but what I think is fun is to take the edge of the flower and decide what type of petal you want to have. You can either cut it so that it's kind of a point or a V at the end. Um, you can do something rounded, which is what I'm going to do. Okay. So if we've got a little one doing these, you might want some help from mom or dad or grandma or somebody a little bit older to help you because this could be a little bit thick and a little bit difficult. Um, but you're just gonna do that. And now my flat square edges have become a round, a little bit more of a rounded petal there, if you will, okay? All right, so I've got this fan over here. Fan of petals right here. And then I have another fan of petals right here. Now comes the part that's a little trickier. We're going to start to pull these apart. Now, tissue paper is stronger than you might think it is, but you still need to be careful and do things slow. So we're going to take the very first level and we're going to pull it up toward the center. And if you hold on to it to the center, you can really pull it up. And once you get that nice and tight, you'll have a nice firm center. And then that way you can really have a nice start for your flower. Okay. So we've got this, and you're probably thinking that looks really, really weird. But as you keep pulling, you're going to find out that your flower is going to emerge. So I have eight of these to do, and that's eight on each side. So I have 16 sets of petals to pull up. And so I'm just going to keep doing this. It gets a little noisy, sorry. I love the color blue. Um, it makes me think of the hydrangeas that will eventually bloom in my garden outside. Um, but really right now I can take any sort of flower, anything that's going to brighten things up since um, we're indoors so much. Okay, so we're gonna keep going, we're almost finished. So pulling them up. And if you need some help with this, go ahead. But the nice thing is, if it rips a little bit, again, it's okay, because no two flowers are exactly alike, just kind of like snowflakes. Um, there's nothing that's not pretty about a flower. So even if it kind of rips a little bit, it's still going to be beautiful. So we're almost done. And when you get to the last petals, you kind of have to pull them up a little bit. So I'm going to hold on to my stem and kind of pull them up. Oh, I love it. Okay. Make my flowers come out. My petals come out a little bit. Um, and there we have it. We have our flower. You can take your stem if you want and put it up like that and kind of loop it. 
Um, you can twist it a little to make it a little stronger. Um, and then maybe put it in a little vase on your table. Um, but that's what they look like. Okay. Um, now, I love these. I think they're super pretty. Um, there are a lot of things that you can do with them. They're great for dress up. But again, we use them as um, part of our sets on stage, which um, was really nice. And we had some great colors. And then um, the kids got to take them home, too. So I have a couple that I made before. Um, I have another yellow one. So we've got very um, Wilkesy colors here, Wilkes University, um, gold and blue. Um, and then I have this one, which was two-toned. Okay, very kind of daffodilly-ish. And I'll show you how to do that one next, um, just to do things one more time with you. This also has kind of pointed edges on it. So if that's something that interests you, you can also do kind of the two colors, but they look really pretty when you put them all together. Um, so if you're doing the two colors, um, what you just need to do, not surprisingly, is have two different colors of tissue paper. Now, the one that I made that kind of had the pink center in it, I put the two pink pieces of paper together um, and then put the yellow pieces behind it. Um, but this one, I thought maybe I would just do um, every other one, a yellow and a pink. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight again. So I really liked how that purple or shibuli one looked. So I think I'll do the eight again. Um, so I'm going to line these up. Okay. Try and do these on end. Now, um, when you're looking around your house, I bet everybody has tissue paper of some sort in your house. Um, it's an adult first before you go stealing tissue paper from them because it may be for Christmas presents or for birthday presents or something like that. Um, but the nice thing is you can even um, reuse, recycle some old tissue paper, and just smooth it out and do the same thing again with it. Um, so here I am, I'm making my fan. I'm just going to go back and forth, smooth that out. It's a little less messy than dyeing Easter eggs. I don't know if a lot of people are planning to color Easter eggs this year, but um, this could be maybe something new that you, that you start doing that you don't have to worry about getting the color all over your hands or anything like that. Um, so here is my accordion pleated tissue paper. I'm going to grab another. This one is a fluorescent green. Okay, I'm going to grab that and really wrap that around tight. Okay, just like that. Perfect. Okay, this one is pretty even, um, but I'm going to even it off like I did the last one as well. Okay, so snip on either side. And then again, this is that trickier part where we're going to decide what we want our petals to look like. So I'm going to do a round one again, a little more conventional. Okay, do one side, then the other. Okay, remember this is pretty thick, so um, take it. Take it nice and slow when you're doing them because sometimes scissors won't necessarily cut through all of them. Um, so here we go. All right, I've got my accordion pleats and once again I am just going to pull them, um, pull them apart. So I'll start. It's always kind of hard to decide where you want to start. I'm going to start with here with the pink. Pulling up. And I'll start with the pink. Pull up. While I'm doing that, I'll ask if there's maybe any arts and crafts that you all like to do, um, or if this is something that you think that you might want to make. Um, I would love for you to go ahead and either post a picture or um, even post a video if you want of um, you making the flowers or your finished product. Um, if you post them to Act Out's page or send them to us. And Give us the hashtag for it. This one's really springy with the uh, with the yellow and pink. I think. This 
is also a great way if you want to kind of change up your room, if you like flowers or anything like that, you can do these with some really cool colors. Um, I've done these with black and silver before. Um, they've got some really neat tissue papers with glitter and sparkles and things like that in them. So it's, it can be really fun to go in and do that. And I'm not going to lie, I get them on sale a lot. Um, so after a holiday, I try and go in and see what types of colors, colors they have and try and get them that way. But again, it's a really great way to recycle old tissue paper also. Okay, so we're right at the end. Getting those last ones, I'm gonna pull them up. Sure, oh, just pulled off a petal. Okay, let's see what we got. This one was a big one. Fluff those out a little bit. Pull them up again. And there we have it. I'm gonna twist it up like that. Perfect. I should have had a vase here. I could have put these in it. Um, but I'm going to do this and put them with our whole bouquet that we have. And we've got this really pretty bouquet of flowers. Um, might be cute um, for the little ones if they're playing dress up or anything like that. Um, you can walk around with some cute bouquets. Um, so that is it. And that is how to make some tissue paper flowers for spring. Um, I hope you give it a try. And like I said, um, if you do, please go ahead and send us some pictures of your final project so we can see how creative you get. And remember, you are only limited by your imagination, so pull out all the colors that you can find and um, maybe even put some leaves on the bottom of them if you want. If you have some construction paper or something like that, you can put some fancy leaves on them or do something if you have um, any more pipe cleaners around, you can do something like that. Um, but show us your, your great and creative work and remember to keep on um, acting out while you have to um, stay inside. Take care. It was great to see you. Bye.